Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, A Travel Journey. We stayed at the Fairmont Royal Pavilion Barbados Hotel and I wanted to review the restaurant and the food at the hotel. Let me give a little introduction of the restaurants in the hotel while I walk to the buffet breakfast. The hotel has two restaurants, Palm Terrace and Taboris. The Palm Terrace restaurant offers a breakfast buffet and a fine dining dinner experience. And the Tabor's restaurant offers lunch, dinner, and quick snack options. Palm Terrace is located on the right side of the hotel lobby area. This is the entrance to the Palm Terrace restaurant. The walk to both the restaurant is very short. Both restaurants have ocean views. The breakfast buffet has an omelet making station where you can order an omelet your way with your choice of fillings. You can also order an eggs benedict and other egg dishes. This is the breakfast buffet area. It has variety of breakfast options including bread, fresh tropical fruits, yogurt, oatmeal, cereal bar, pancakes, scrambled eggs, smoked bacon, sausages, baked beans, and more. Unlike other Caribbean resorts, Fairmont Royal Barbados is a non-all-inclusive hotel. However, we didn't miss the all-inclusive dining part at our stay, and we enjoyed the food at the hotel. The staff at both of the restaurants were friendly and happy to assist you. Both of the restaurants served high quality food. The breakfast buffet at the Palm Terrace restaurant is from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and the dinner is from 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. The Palm Terrace restaurant is closed for dinner on Mondays and Tuesdays. I suggest you make dinner reservations for the Palm Terrace restaurant. You can always walk in to the Taboris restaurant. If you're not a hotel guest, you can still make reservation and dine at the restaurant. I got a little bit of everything with a side of orange juice and coffee. Overall, the breakfast buffet was good and we left with a full stomach. I will give it a rating of 5 out of 5. Let me show you around the second restaurant, Taboris. We had a quick lunch here later in the day. The lunch hour is from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Tabor's restaurant was pretty spacious and clean. I loved how it is open and has beautiful views of the ocean. We ordered a margarita pizza, which was delicious. I'll give it a rating of 4 out of 5. While it was good, we have had a better one at other Italian restaurants. And then later, I enjoyed a cup of cappuccino. It was pretty good.
On the second day of first day at the hotel, we had afternoon tea at the Taboris restaurant. The afternoon tea is served daily every evening at the Taboris restaurant from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. One afternoon tea was included with the room when we booked it. I'll give it a rating of 3 out of 5. The pastry and the sandwiches didn't taste fresh and the options were limited. Also the tea options were very limited and I didn't like any of the tea they had. So I got a cup of cappuccino, which I had to pay for. I'm glad the afternoon tea was included with the stay and I didn't have to pay for this experience. For the first night's stay, we went to the Palm Terrace restaurant. There was live music performance inside of the restaurant, which we really enjoyed. At the Palm Terrace restaurant, Tim, the executive chef, came by to our table and made sure everything was top notch. I ordered the buffalo di latte, roasted tomato salad, and my husband ordered the aged 10 ounce strip line with mashed potatoes, and it was delicious. The portions were good size for us. For dessert, we ordered pina colada crambole, which was served in a coconut bowl. It was divine. The second day dinner, we went to the Palm Terrace restaurant again and I ordered the grilled chicken with roasted pumpkin puree and potato terrine. It was delicious as well. For the third night dinner, we went to the Taboris restaurant. The Taboris restaurant also has live nightly music performances. This restaurant is located opposite of the outdoor swimming pool. At the restaurant, I ordered grilled chicken with a side of salad with cherry tomatoes. And my husband ordered salmon with penne pasta with a side of sweet potato fries. I'll give all the dinners a rating of 5 out of 5. The overall experience of all the meals that we had at Fair Montreal Pavilion was 5 out of 5. In addition to these meals, whenever we were relaxing at the beach, the Fairmont staff were always walking there to take orders for any drinks. I always ordered a tropical smoothie which was so refreshing. I'll give it a rating of 5 out of 5 as well. If you liked this video, please check the description box below where I made another video of the Fairmont Troll Pavilion, Hotel and the Room Review. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.